teams on the uh, trains. I think they're going to be uh, on the side of the trains within the uh, next month. Now, not enough people to pick the crops and a risk that food will be left to rot in the fields if it can't be harvested in time. It's a story we've heard before. Well, there could be a new high-tech answer. Experts say that robots that pick and pack our food are developing more quickly than ever before. And renting them out to farms could help producers get their foods to the supermarkets more easily. Our correspondent, Lindsay Smith, has been to see the latest agriculture AI in action in Coningsby. There's a buzz of excitement in this normally quiet Coningsby field. And it's all about this, Sprout, a robot being demonstrated to the nation's asparagus growers. The thing that machines can do is versus, versus people is they can work longer. Right? So this machine, let's say it's half as fast as a human, it could work twice as long throughout the night um, and we wouldn't have to have any union regulations, etc., to, to deal with. For growers like Tim, it'll save him the headache of finding 13 pickers when this field is full of veg. It's just getting increasingly difficult. There's so many days where people don't turn up or they've do it for a week and they've, they've decided they've had enough and you've got to find more people again. The NFU say 70,000 pickers are needed. Only 40,000 visas have been given to foreign workers and there are not enough British people willing to step in. Now we've heard of fields in Lincolnshire just last week where food was ploughed into the ground because pickers were simply not available. But at up to half a million pounds is the average family farmer going to be able to move from man to robot. There might be an option where some farms buy them, maybe that would be the bigger farms, but I certainly think we're going to see a lot of rent-a-robot operations. So robots as a service where the robot company comes and picks the produce for you. Flower growers say robots have transformed their businesses, so much so that your favourite bloom may become extinct. A couple of our crops, there's only one or two growers left in the UK, so it's not going to pay a machinery manufacturer to develop a machine specifically for those crops. So it may be that we stop producing those crops and we only produce what we can really, really automate. Experts say robotics will help food security and prices. But we're a few years away from seeing the full benefit. Lindsay Smith, BBC Look North, Coningsby.